Well, when I first started science class in school, my friends call me like the big science geek of my grade. Except for biotechnology, women are in short supply when it comes to careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. We seem to have our kids really excited about science when they're in second, third grade. They, they seem to not have any trouble being excited. I think we turn them off somehow. And part of that is the way we educate our teachers in the K-12 systems and how we need to make sure that those teachers have the tools they need, the equipment that they need, the supplies that they need, the support that they need to uh, really do a good job of yeah, exciting, continue excitement for students. Hitachi's TM3000 electron microscope provides some of that excitement. It magnifies really well and I love all the buttons that it has. It just makes it so much easier to see stuff close up that we can't normally see. I have a couple microscopes at home that are just optical lights, mirrors. Um, this can go to far greater levels. I was able to see things like dust particles on feathers. The TM3000's portability also appeals to Rachel. It means you could bring it to a site w when it would be harder to transport specimens to an area. The availability of jobs also may help draw more women and minorities into science careers. The question comes how to get more women in engineering, how to get a broader spectrum of our community uh, into the STEM careers. And one of the ways that we, as this uh, effort with BioLink and Advanced Technological Education and funding from the National Science Foundation can help that, and we didn't know it, was that in some of our communities, we've been able to get good technician jobs for the adults and they go back into their communities and say these jobs in science and mathematics and engineering are open to our community and they go back to their middle schools, they talk to their high schools, they talk to their nieces, nephews, kids and they go to their churches and say now biotech and life sciences uh, opportunities are open. The jobs are there and will be there in the future.